Okay, so this video will be going over a servo axis. Uh, this axis we'll be covering will be a rotary axis and how to configure a rotary axis with the conversion constants. So there's two types of axis. There's, uh, there's a linear axis and then there's a rotary axis. So we are going to be doing covering the rotary axis on this uh, video. And we will be using a RS Logics Emulate 5000 chassis, and we will be using uh, version 20 software as far as RS Logics. So we will be so at, with that covered. We we do not have any hardware whatsoever. Uh, this is all done with uh, emulation. So uh, we do have uh, some code written. Although we won't be showing that, we just want to highlight how to uh, get a base understanding of the conversion constants of a particular rotary axis. So on uh, virtual axis one, we'll go to properties, and then you come down, and the first thing, the position moding or positioning mode will be in, most likely will be in a linear. Um, in this case, uh, all, all that is in play is the conversion constant itself. So it's the, the counts uh, divided by the position units. In this case, we're going to do a rotary. Now the rotary would be the conversion constants and then the position unwind. Now, and to do the equation, you cancel out. So the equations are on the back side. You cancel out the feedback counts on both, so it would be position units divided by uh, unwind. So it would be the conversion constant at 8,000 divided by the unwind at 8,000. Now, with that said, that's going to, when you use your unwind in a rotary, that's going to be where the, um, the position units roll over. So that when the encoder rolls over, that's when it's going to tell you, you know, whatever units you're using, say an inch or whatever. We're using position in, uh, units. So if you divide 8,000 divided by 8,000, obviously that's 1. Now, what that will do is it will start off at 0, 0. 0.000. And then it will increment up until it hits 0 0.10. When it hits 0 0.10, it will roll back over to zero. So it, when it rolls back over to zero, uh, so that's a very short, and sweet example of that. Now it's pretty easy being that both of them are the same. So say you wanted to, to have it count to 100, you add two zeros to that. So now we have 100. Or 800,000, and then we divide 800,000 by uh, 8,000, 8, and then we get 100. So now the servo would run up to 100 counts and then reset at 100. Now, for the sake of things, we could say uh, if we wanted it to go to 500 then we just merely put it at 4 million and we clear this real quick 4 million divided by 8 8,000 equals 500 so at when the position counts are the actual position units hit 500 it would roll back over to zero now what we can do we can apply this and what we'll do is we'll download okay so we're still in we're going to put it in run mode uh, put that in run mode, and we want to go and monitor this tag. So I want to monitor this tag to show that the actual position, 
So when I start the actual position. <clears throat> now I'm going to do this with motion direct commands because it's going to be a lot easier for you to see. So what I'll do is first off I'll cut it on. I'll home it and then I'll run it. So say for instance we'll put it at 25 uh, then we'll execute. <clears throat> so we are running at a 25 velocity of 25. We are the position is moving. The position is moving and when it hits 500 it rolls over. Now it rolls over because of, of the way our conversion constants are. So again, it's 8,000 divided our 4 million divided by 8,000, and that equals 500. So at 500, it rolls over every time. Now what we can do is go right back offline, and say for instance you wanted. Uh, say you want a, a different outcome. Um, <clears throat> uh, say you wanted, you didn't want 500. Uh, let's see, you wanted like a, let's see what we had. We had 360. You can also do this backwards too. <clears throat> times so if we had put in actually I could probably copy that so that will actually give us a rollover at 360 and you kind of see the way I did, we did the backwards math on that we said our goal was 360 and we know we're or divide or timesing uh, by the conversion constant, which is 8,000. And that gives us how many counts our unwind should be before we roll over. And that would give us a rollover at 360 degrees. So we save that. Okay, and we download. Okay, so we'll go to the same thing, motion axis direct commands, just so we can see how that, that is done. Uh, we'll clear the faults. We'll home it. Okay, now we'll, we'll go ahead and jog it again. Now, <clears throat> this will go to, this will start jogging and it will run up to 360 degrees in the, on the actual position and then change over to zero. So this, this number right here in the actual position, when it hits 360 degrees, it will flip over to zero, just like you just saw right there. Now we can actually slow that down a little bit more so you can see it. So when that gets a little closer, um, then we're about approaching 360 right now. You can see that the system will roll over at 360 degrees. So what we can do So I, I slowed it down to one right here. <clears throat> and this will give you a, a really in, good indication. This is running at, at a velocity of one. So when this hits 360, it will show you directly that it will roll over to a, a dead zero and then start back the count from there. Now this is using, again, this is using a, a rotary style axes. So a servo motor used as a rotary style 
uh, application. Okay, we're approaching 360. And it should be about to roll over. <clears throat> and the rollover was right there, so um, it did everything it's supposed to do. So what we'll do is uh, execute a stop. <clears throat> so you get the kind of understanding of you know uh, how to to do this now you can take these and change these numbers uh, as much as you want to uh, that basically you're going to get a more fine-tuned number so right here everything behind the number you're going to get a more defined so that the bigger these numbers get you're going to get a more defined number so you're using actually get you're using more of the hyperfacing uh, uh, encoder that the, is on back of the servo. Uh, most servos nowadays, uh, the MPLs, the MPMs, um, any of the Rockwell software are Rockwell um, AB uh, MPLs, MPMs used a uh, hyperface uh, terminal or hyperface uh, encoder and so they're going to have really high resolution. You can so you can change these numbers to get really good resolution if you need it but to, just to kind of break down you know the, how this is done and when when you're going to get your rollover uh, you take your conversion constant and then you divide that into your position uh, unwind now you can also as I said so if you wanted to roll over at a different point but you knew the conversion constant. So say you want to roll over at 1200. Okay, so I want to roll over at 1200 now. <clears throat> then I would times that by 8000. And that would be my new. So I would have to get off line. Paste. So I paste that in there, and then we simply download. Okay, so now we have the system set up to roll over at 1200. So what I'll do is I'll do a motion X, uh, motion direct command again, and. First off, I'll reset from a shutdown reset. I'll home it. Then I'll come in and jog it. And we'll jog to get up there at that position really pretty fast. We'll go ahead and jog at 25. So just keep in mind while it's getting there um, how we got that. So we divided 8,000 into nine million uh, six hundred thousand so we divided our conversion constants into our position unwind and we did that because of the back equation back here so the feedback cancel out feedback and then you get position units divided by unit or uh, unwind so Okay, so we're approaching 1200 and it should roll over just in and it just did so um, this kind of I mean this would you know give you a really good example of how to set up um, a rotary axis and this even though it's it's a uh, it's a virtual axis and there's no actual servo to you know to actually tune or to do anything with you still have the options to change your your position units. You know we could change that to inches if you wanted to. Um, of course, you got to do that offline. So if I wanted to, I could put that as inches. And then hit apply. Now what will happen over here is that it say feedback counts one inch. So that's how many counts you would get for one inch. And then this is again, it stays as 
position unwind so again, now we're, we're at, everything's flowing in inches it's still going to be an actual position as far as uh, in relation to the servo tag itself it's, it's not going to change but what will change on the attributes is the, the back naming culture for your units so if we put it back at position units then if you look back at conversion it's back at position units but so this was just to kind of give you an idea of how to calculate um, a, the rollover amount or the when the um, po actual position of your servo will roll over using a rotary axis uh, <clears throat> so I guess the main thing to keep in mind is that whatever your number is in your conversion constants uh, divide that into the number that you have for your position unwind and when you do that you will you'll get your your, you'll get your system's rollover point. Um, so if you wanted to adjust it sometime, or if you wanted to change it, or whatever you wanted to do, then you have the availability. You know how to do the uh, the equation to do so now. Okay. Well, this was uh, just a video on how to show you how to do a rotary axis, and um, and this is again, this was a virtual system, so. I had no um, I.O., I had no uh, servo, I had no hardware whatsoever. Uh, it's using, again, a uh, emulator software. <clears throat> and uh, I hope you got something out of it. You know, I hope you, you know, understand what a rotary is now and, and uh, again, how to configure your conversion constants um, from your positioning mode, whether it be a, a rotary or a linear. Um, and we can go over a, uh, a rotary too, or uh, a linear on another another video. That'd be because um, you can do a whole lot more stuff with that. So, but I will say that uh, with a rotary, the, just keep in mind that the conversion constants, whatever they may be, ours is eight thousand. Divide into um, the position unwind which in our case is 9,600,000 because the feedback counts cancel itself out of the equation. So it's position units uh, divided by your unwind. So again, I hope that helped and um, there'll be more videos to come. Uh, again, uh, if you like this, uh, please subscribe or give, leave me a comment. Um, we'll have more videos to come. Thanks.